O oh God, come to our aid. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We begin our morning prayer this morning with, by the blood, number 188. By the blood that flowed from thee in thy grievous agony, by the traitor's guileful kiss, filling up thy bitterness, Jesus. Savior, hear our cry. Thou wert suffering once as we. Now enthroned in majesty, countless angels sing to that round thee cast bound thee to the pillar fast by the skirt so meekly born by the purple robe of scorn Jesus Saviour Hear our cry, Thou wert suffering once as we. Now enthroned in majesty, countless angels sing to that crowns thy head by the scepter of a reed by the foes on bended knee mocking at thy royalty Jesus Saviour Hear our cry, Thou wert suffering once as we, now enthroned in majesty, countless angels sing to Thy footsteps faint and low, wait beneath thy cross of woe. Jesus, Saviour, hear our cry, thou wert suffering once as we. Now enthroned in majesty, countless angels sing to thee. By thy weeping mother's woe, by the sword that pierced her through, when in anguish standing by, on the cross she saw thee die. Jesus, Saviour, hear our cry, thou wert suffering once as we. Now enthroned in my 
majesty, countless angels sing to We'll pray the psalms uh, together, but leave a, a slight pause between uh, the, the, each psalm. God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Sion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all. Jesus Christ showed his love for us, and freed us from our sins with his life's blood. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe at your deeds. Do them again in our days, and our days make them known. In spite of your anger, have compassion. God comes forth from Teman. The Holy One comes from Mount Paran. His splendor covers the sky, and his glory fills the earth. His brilliance is like the light. Rays flash from his hands. There his power is hidden. You march out to save your people, to save the one you have anointed. You made a path for your horses in the sea, in the raging of the mighty waters. This I heard, and I tremble with terror. My lips quiver at the sound. Weakness invades my bones. My steps fail beneath me, yet I calmly wait for the doom that will fall upon the people who assail us. For even though the fig does not blossom, nor fruit grow on the vine, even though the olive crop fail, and fields produce no harvest, even though flocks vanish from the folds, and stalls stand empty of cattle, yet I will rejoice in the Lord and exult in God my Saviour. The Lord my God is my strength. He makes me leap like the deer. He guides me to the high places. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ showed his love for us and freed us from our sins with his life's blood. We venerate your cross, Lord. We praise and glorify your holy resurrection. Because of the tree, joy has come into the world. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has established the children within you. He established peace in your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We venerate your cross, Lord. We praise and glorify your holy resurrection. Because of the tree, joy has come into the world. A reading from Isaiah. See, my servant will prosper. He shall be lifted up, exalted, rise to great heights. As the crowds were appalled in seeing him, so disfigured did he look that he seemed no longer human. So will the crowds be astonished at him, and kings stand speechless before him. For they shall see something never told, and witness something never heard before. On Good Friday, I kind of tend to feel you should be sad, but actually I'm, I'm far from sad today. I'm just, I don't know whether it was because last night's celebration went well and uh, I managed uh, to keep a control of 10 servers all at once uh, with the complexity of what was happening, not to mention uh, priests and deacons and a bishop. Uh, but also, um, that bit, not just that it was a great celebration, it, 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 there's, there's something about the rites at this time. I was speaking with a bishop about that afterwards. There's just something about like, what we celebrate in these days. That despite, of course, and I was speaking after having left the, the altar of repose, so even although there's, there is this sadness uh, of, of what the Lord went through, Nevertheless, these liturgies are liturgies that are filled with hope. And yes, of course, today there is that mourning that the Lord had to die for us. And, and we recognize that we have a, a part to play in that. We recognize that the sin of every single person is, is part of, of why the Lord had to do that. But on the other hand, what we're celebrating is a God who loves us so much. A Lord... A God who, who didn't abandon us. A God who didn't give up on humanity because everything went wrong. A God who he was always committed to, to do whatever was necessary. That the friendship that, they, that humanity had with him right from the beginning 
that's portrayed in the book of Genesis as God coming down to the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve walking with God in the cool of the evening. It gives a, a, a kind of beautiful uh, image to us that this is what God wanted our relationship with him to be like. Just that, uh, that closeness, uh, that comfortableness with him that, that we would have with you know, anyone we could, we could imagine you know, being in a similar situation with friends, with those who are, of you who are married, you could imagine, you know, moments when you're kind of walking by, you know, a, a stream or a, you know, just for me, if I think of nice places, I think of the Esplanade down at Greenock because you see the river there. Um, but like Loch Lomond, wherever it happens to be, what are the kind of beautiful places uh, that, that we kind of walk alongside our, our loved ones and have? in our life, that that's the, the image that God gives us is one of those early images in the scriptures about the relationship that he wants with us. And God didn't abandon us to all that comes thereafter. So the story, of course, from Genesis goes awry pretty quickly. And there's, there is the banishment from the beautiful place, but not in such a way that God was abandoning any, anyone. And tomorrow, I'll read this, I, I usually do it Holy Saturday morning, the second a reading from the Office of Readings, and the, the, the kind of beautiful imagery for that uh, is, is of Christ going into Sheol to, to bring Adam and Eve away from all that despair and all, all the result of, of sin. So God didn't abandon even Adam and Eve but rather brings them and wants to bring us to the fullness of joy in his kingdom. And these means of that are awful, but nevertheless, what they tell us is of God's commitment to us. This is how much God loves us. The end of that reading from Isaiah, he talks about, you know, kings that will stand speechless because they shall see something never told and witness something never heard before. What couldn't be imagined is what God would choose to do out of love for us. And, but I'm also reminded of uh, the, those words uh, make me think of St. John's writings and what we have seen and what we have heard and what we have touched. The reality of, of the Lord uh, who has come among us and who has died for us and has risen that we might rise forever. So yesterday there is sadness but it's a sadness that's underpinned by a great joy because of how much God loves us. Let's join together in the short responsory. Christ humbled himself for us and in obedience, I accepted death, even death on a cross. Please stand. <coughs> Over his head was placed the charge against him. This is Jesus the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us, that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. 
the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Over his head was placed the charge against him. This is Jesus, the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Let us pray to our Redeemer who suffered for us, was buried and rose from the dead. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord and Master, for us you became obedient even to death. Keep us faithful to God's will in the darkness of our lives. Jesus, our life by dying on the cross, you destroyed hell and death. Grant that we may die with you and rise with you in glory. Christ, our King, you were the scorn of the people, a worm, not a man. Teach us to tread your path of humility. Jesus, our Saviour, you laid down your life for your friends. Let us love one another as you have loved us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our hope, you stretched out your hands on the cross to embrace all ages of men. Gather all God's scattered children into the kingdom of salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Be mindful, Lord, of this your family, for whose sake our Lord Jesus Christ, when betrayed, did not hesitate to yield himself into his enemy's hands and undergo the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to eternal, everlasting life. Amen.
Jesus, please send your Holy Spirit into our hearts today and help us to tell your story the very best we can. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. <clears throat> we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you aren't guilty of any crime or sin. How can you be condemned to death? Dear Jesus, help us to see the good in those we meet instead of criticizing others. Dear Jesus, Help us to see the good in those we meet instead of criticizing others. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The cross is heavy and it hurts when it is placed across your back. You begin to carry your cross, Jesus. Dear Jesus, help us to be brave when we have difficult things to face in our lives. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. <clears throat> we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You fall to the ground beneath your heavy cross. Some of those nearby even make fun of you, and this makes your mother and friends so sad. Dear Jesus, help us to show kindness to others, especially when they are in trouble. Hold on a second. Can we see, see what you do? Do you do it like that 
The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your heart breaks when you see your mother's face, yet she gives you the strength you need to carry on. She feels every pain you feel. Dear Jesus, help us to appreciate the love we are shown every day of our lives by those who love and care for us. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon of Cyrene doesn't want to help you carry your cross, Jesus. The soldiers make him help you, and you are grateful to him as he helps you to move along. Dear Jesus, help us to recognize when others need our help and be willing to help out whenever we can. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica sees that you need comfort. It is an act of kindness, and you are so grateful for just a moment of relief. 
Dear Jesus, help me to be a light in the darkness when I can be, just like Veronica. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The narrow street leading up the steep hill towards Golgotha is difficult, Jesus, and you fall again. It is so difficult to get up and keep going, but you just about manage it. Dear Jesus, please give me the courage I need to keep going when I face difficult times in my life. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Do you know these weeping women, Jesus? You recognize them as the women who have been with you by your side throughout your journey. You try to console them. Dear Jesus, help me to be faithful to you as I go through my journey of faith. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This time, your face hits the hard stone street, your head th throbs with pain, and you're dizzy with it. Obediently, you get up to travel on the hill of crucifixion. Dear Jesus, help me.